Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jacob Slanix with Chevy CLE Car Reviews. And today we're gonna to be looking at the 2023 Chevy Traverse, probably my most favorite third row SUV on the market. Gonna go over this beautiful Redline Edition, my thoughts on the 23 Traverses, and just go in depth why this is such a great third row vehicle. So be sure to like this video, comment below your thoughts on the Redline Traverse, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Alrighty guys, so as I mentioned in that intro, uh, this is probably one of my most favorite third row vehicles on the market, as well as probably one of my most favorite Chevrolets that they make, um, is the Traverse Redline Edition. It's just, it looks fantastic, it's sporty, uh, it's just all around a great looking vehicle. So with the Redline package, it only comes on a Premier, so that's your top trim level. You still have your LS, LT, uh, 3LT, in the premier available in the high countries so nothing has changed as far as trim levels for 23 but this redline edition has the 20 inch black wheels with that red accent on it you have the black mirror caps with that red stripe and then you have this uh, black lettering with the uh, red all around the traverse so just a little different it's sporty um, that only comes with that redline package for 22, uh, they did do a refresh on the vehicle, if you guys haven't seen in the past. So they did redo the front end a little bit. Kind of looks a little close to like the blazer look. It's got that LED strip light up top there, your headlights at the bottom, honeycomb style grill with the Redline Edition and that black bow tie. So it's sporty, it's aggressive looking, just all around a great looking vehicle. So with the Traverse, as far as like engine options, nothing's changed there. It's still the 3.6 liter V6, producing about 310 horsepower, uh, about 18 city and 27 highway for a front wheel drive, and 17 city, 25 highway for an all wheel. So nothing too crazy there between all wheel and front wheel. This one here in particular is a 23 Redline Edition all wheel drive in the mosaic black. For the Redline Edition, they do make a couple different colors. They'll make the iridescent pearl, which looks absolutely fantastic. And then the new sterling gray color looks really cool on these as well. So the sterling gray was new for 23. They also have Summit White and then the Mosaic Black. Going with the new 2023 options, they also added Radiant Red, which is a nice looking color. They just changed it a little bit from a previous colorway. Coming to the back end here, you have, for the new 23, the different style headlights that they added. I like how they add the dual mode or dual exhaust look. Looks nice, it's uh, sporty, stylish. You got your all wheel drive badging there, traverse down there in the corner, and then that black bow tie. And then everything's like a, kind of like a black chrome look, which I really like. And then over on the side here, all like the trim and accents and everything are also black with your roof racks being black as well. So all uh, blacked out basically with that red line package. So you love to see that. I know a, a lot of people love that, that sport look and that's why this is probably one of my most favorite vehicles out there with Chevrolet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rear hatch here. You can do that by pushing down under there. You can also do it from your key fob and inside the vehicle. This one here has the third row up currently. You can see captain's chairs for that second row. This does have the floor liner package on it, which gives you the cargo liner floor package as well as the back seat liners. So pretty cool if you're sliding something in. One, it makes it a little easier to slide, but it also protects your seats. So these do fold down by pulling these straps here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull and push. With that back seat, it's a little further back, but those will go down on both sides. So pretty cool easy to use and you do have a 12 volt outlet back here as well and then to go ahead and close your tailgate we're going to go ahead and push this right here you'll hear the beeping your lights will flash and it will come down just like this so two things that a lot of people don't know about with that redline package what they actually include is one it does include the trailering equipment package which under this right here um, you just pull those two little you can see them on the side there you pull those two little tabs off and underneath that it comes with a hitch 
the hitch guidance camera and the heavy duty cooling system. And then also with that package, you're gonna see your dual sunroof. So we have both of them open. This one's just fixed glass. The front one actually opens, but that also comes standard with that Redline package when you get it on the Premier. So very good. Now that we're inside the cabin here, here's your cabin or your captain's chairs. Very nice leather, nice stitching all the way around. Here's your third row, which you can see you have a nice uh, liner that also tucks in between the seats as well as that third row. So very cool, very easy to use and move. Underneath the seats, there's also a bar that you can move the seat back and forth to give more leg room in that um, third row. And then this here actually drops the seat. So we're gonna push it back so we can show you what it looks like folded down. So now if you wanna lay the third row and the second row down, you can. It just lays flat completely like that. And then you just go ahead and push this back up. And there you go. Nice and easy. Now, size wise, we're gonna just go ahead and show you what it looks like from the third row. I'm gonna climb in the back here. So, third row, here we are. We got the uh, USB for your kids back here, family, whatever. You have air vents through the back, lighting, cup holders, so. This seat could probably move up a little bit more, but this is where you'll be looking and then you can look up front here and see all around on the sides and up front. So very good, very easy to move in and out of. And then I wanna show you guys up here as well. You have the second row heated seats with that Premier and then your climate control as well. You have that uh, 120 volt and two USBs and a little storage cubby down at the bottom there. So really nice. I love the fixed glass sunroof there. Looks sweet. Now we're going to dig into a little more of the features that are up front. So let's check it out. All right. So now we're going to hop into the front cabin. First thing I want to go over is you do have your turn signal indicators on the meter here, as well as the blind spot monitor there. So this is the top trim. So it's going to have all the goodies on it as well. You have memory seating, your locks, your windows, your um, mirrors. This is how you would open up the tailgate. It does have the Bose speaker system as well, so super cool. You got your power driver's seat. Nice looking seats, they're super comfortable. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop in. You've got your lights here on the side. You got your old dash display, digital dash. Super cool, easy to use, give it a little rev. So you can see over there on the side your RPMs go up. Here's your steering wheel, leather wrapped, looks nice. You have your cruise control, your front collision alert, heated steering wheel, which is a fantastic fe feature when you're in 38 degree weather in Cleveland, Ohio. This controls your main dash screen so you can see like your different trips, your fuel economy, all that fun stuff voice commands, you can hang up your phone, it's got automatic high beams, so super easy to use platform, it's nothing crazy, it's not crazy advanced, but you can figure out where everything is, very simple. I didn't get that, could you try again? As Siri goes off. So now we're going to go ahead and look at the dash here. So you have your 8 inch touch screen, you have audio, AM, FM, Sirius radio, you have Bluetooth, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can have different users um, depending on who's driving the vehicle. This also folds up to a secret storage compartment. Super cool. That's one of my favorite things about the Traverse is having that little cubby, kind of like the old C7 Corvettes. So super cool. You can actually put the vehicle in valet mode as well, and that locks that. It'll lock them out of your navigation, your music, and then this as well. So super cool, that's all in the settings. And we're gonna push this back down. You have your push to start. And then after that, you have your key fob, which you have your lock, your unlock, remote start by holding this down, 
hit this twice to open your tailgate and then your panic alarm so all very easy chevy's kind of stuck with the same platform key for a few years so easy to see use and everything so down here you have your climate control um, on the redline Premier. you're going to have your heated seats dual zone climate for your driver and passenger and then the cooled section as well so very cool so nice in the uh, summertime to have that with the leather seats you have where you want your air position your fan speed front rear defrosters all very simple and easy to use two usbs and auxiliary you have that 12 volt and then you do have the wireless charger which supports bigger phones like the iphones maxes and then like the bigger androids so super cool this is your shifter that they adapted to it last year really easy to use one thing i want to point out is the different camera modes that you see so you have like your aerial aerial view camera you have your backup camera you can see your front camera by changing the displays front end rear end your sides hitch guidance hitch view so just really cool you can see all the different angles with this um, i love how many options you get and talking about cameras you do have the rear view uh, mirror camera as well so you can turn that off by flipping this forward if you don't like it but you can change the brightness you can change the zoom you can change the up and down to whatever you like it at so super cool they go hand in hand together if you don't like that you can always turn it off but this will always kick on going into reverse so go ahead and put it back in the park. You have a couple different mode options down here. This is your auto stop start override, so you can turn that off if you don't like it. You have your lane keep assist that goes along with that blind spot monitor and the mirrors. We're gonna go ahead and twist this over. That'll put you in the all wheel drive. Twist it over again. This is more of like a terrainy mode, all wheel drive. And then if you're pulling that trailer with that trailering equipment package, which does tow up to 5,000 pounds on this vehicle you would put it into the trailering mode so that lists it right there we're gonna go and twist it all the way back to just the front wheel you have your parking brake here all electronic you can see we got that nice leather dash up top there looks good we also have that sunroof that we talked about earlier so this one opens the back one does not all the controls are up top here so you have your slide you can move back and forth the middle row and then you can do the tilt and the slide back for the actual sunroof you have your home link for your garage door openers you have your onstar option so vehicle is a uh, very nicely equipped i love the options that the redline premiere comes with it's a uh, very comfortable it's big it's wide it has that bow speaker system which sounds incredible on the vehicle um, it's all around just such a great car great safety uh, good fuel economy for a full-size third row vehicle so I personally love the Redline Traverse I wish we got more and more of them uh, we don't get enough especially with everything that's been going on with vehicle shortages so Chevy get us some more of these things we love them it's a great looking vehicle people love them so I'm going to show you guys the window sticker real quick before we cut out. 23 Premier, all-wheel drive, mosaic black, V6, all of your standard features coming over to the Redline Edition to your total price up here of 52515 And then, of course, if there's any rebates or anything, that will come off of that total price there. So... Hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys love this car. I mean, how can you not? This has to be one of my favorite third row vehicles. I know I work for Chevy. I also have Volkswagens and I just really love the look of this car. So be sure to like this video, comment your thoughts on the Redline Edition Traverse and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. We're doing it this year. We're getting tons of content out. So be sure to uh, subscribe for more. Thank you guys and we'll see you on the next one.